Okay. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Crafts. I'm Linda Cullen from Crafty Stampin' and we're going to case the catalog today. Um, I know when I first got eyeball on the catalog and I was flipping through it, this one card just jumped off the page at me and I have been waiting and waiting for the product. It wasn't on the pre-order and I am so excited that we get to um, play with this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you straight down to um, the webcam. Um, so this is page 113 on the catalog and it is this bright pink, it's actually lovely lipstick um, with the puzzle pieces and it's embossed puzzle pieces. Um, so this is the Love to You to Pieces bundle. It's the Love You to Pieces stamp set and the matching puzzle pieces thinlet dies. I, I don't know, I, I love hot pink, like bright pink colors. And I was you know trying to figure out, oh, what should I do today? And I had a full day of kids activities yesterday. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can come up with something. I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I just got my box of products. I have the puzzle pieces. I want to make this card. So join me as this is what we're going to make today because it is super duper fun and I think it's adorable and I'm just so excited. I love the pink. I love everything about it. It's the lovely lipstick, which is the new color. So it's new colors, new dyes, new ribbon. Just it's super fun. So thank you. I see everyone's jumping on. Good morning and welcome. So let's let's do just a bit of housekeeping. So giveaways. I'd love to do a prize patrol for everybody. Um, as my way to say thank you for joining me um, today and thank you for sharing. So today at the end of the broadcast, anyone who has left a comment and all you have to say is hi. And I will tell you, I was, I go through, I read everybody's comments. I do. I don't like them all. I used to like them all. And then Facebook used to tag me as a troll or a, a bot. Um, and I would get little warnings to stop doing what I'm doing. <laughs> so um, I don't do that anymore, but I do read them. And I at one point got to a page where I had an entire string of page. It just said, hello, 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 hello. And I'm like, wow, I say all you have to do is say hello. And you guys, you follow suit. Um, so I thank you. you. You just have to say hi. You just have to say anything. Just put a comment out there in any way. Um, and you will be entered to win the affectionately yours washi tape at the end of this broadcast, as soon as we're done. Um, if you are not lucky enough to win the washi tape or you are not watching live, you're watching later either on Facebook or on YouTube because it will go up later on YouTube. I'm not live dueling live yet. Um, that's hopefully soon. Um, and you leave a comment on either Facebook or YouTube, you'll be entered to win the Tranquil Tulips, which is now a retired hostess set from the last catalog. And I will pick that on uh, next Thursday, uh, the 14th. And if you share this video, and you can share it on Facebook, in a group on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Pinterest, wherever, um, and then just type a comment, shared. And you need to, if you, if you are watching this from a shared video, like you're on... I don't know, let's say card making Facebook page and someone has shared it there, you need to click through to Linda Crafty Stampin and leave your comment there because I don't get all those comments the way Facebook works. I only see the comments that are on the original post. So click through to the original post, leave a comment there, share the video, leave the comment shared there, and I will add a second entry into Win the Tranquil Tulips. Whew, housekeeping. Okay, so let's pick the winner from last, oh God, when was it? Hold on, let me find, watch later, there we go. Uh, pick the winner from the 525, which is my last uh, Thursday uh, Coffee Crafts. It was the Lots of Lavender. And I have everybody entered into random.org. And you can see there's quite a few doubles. And these are the people who left the comment shared. Um, and I like to scroll through so everyone can make sure they can see their names. I'm really kind of big on um, transparency. Um, I was trained accountant slash financial analyst, so it's important to me that everyone knows that you know their names are in there and they've been, uh, I'm picking correctly. So I'm gonna hit randomize and whoever ends up at the top of the page um, will be our winner. And one, two, three, randomize. Boom, and our winner is Tammy 
Taylor and Tammy, thank you very much. If you head over to uh, craftystampin.com, if you go to specials and giveaway, I have a link right on the top. This is click here to claim your prize, fill out the form, and I will get it to you. You have two weeks to fill it out. I send a follow-up email as soon as I mail it out. If you do not get an email from me and you think you have filled that out within the two weeks, send me an email at Linda Crafty Stampin' and I will get back to you and we'll figure it out. Um, and let's get crafting. So let me show you what we're doing again one more time for anyone who came in a little bit later. We are casing the catalog. This is page 113 in the brand new Stampin' Up! catalog. If you do not have one, um, also on Crafty Stampin', there's a link right there. Um, to order a catalog from me, if, uh, or just send me Linda Crafty Stamp and I'll point you in the right direction um, so that you can get your hands. Because I will tell you, there's nothing like having the actual catalog in your hand. It's, uh, you can't, you know, I, I, I do a lot electronically. I read all my books electronically now. Everything's on my iPad. I can't, I, I need my catalog printed out for my ideas and everything. So let's, let's come on down. So, like I said, we're on page. 113 of the catalog and this is the card we're casing it was right there in the catalog um i was in love so um and here it is Isn't it cute um so about an hour after this broadcast i do a blog post recap it'll have pictures it'll have a downloadable pdf with all the cut sizes and all the products you need it will be in color my fancy dancy color printer is like yeah not working today so um yours will be in color uh, I also have links to all the products you use, colors, everything. Um, so uh, there, that's that. That'll be available. And I think that's it. Oh, so let's, all right. So here is, this is the stamp set. Let me get the glare off of it for you. It's got some super duper cute um, statements and images in the shapes of the puzzle pieces as well as we got hearts, you know, one piece at a time. We just fit. Um, I know Autism is uh, uses the puzzle piece as their kind of their logo, so this would be great, you know, if you've got a Autism fundraiser or anything going on. It also comes with um, the the die set. Where do I have? I'm using them all today, so I have them all out. The puzzle piece thinlets, and they're made up of one big um, <clears throat> set that's got a whole lot of puzzle pieces. This is a cutting die. Um, one big puzzle piece and then a heart that will cut into four pieces. So though that is the bundle, if you buy it as a bundle and it is 10% off when you buy them all together. Um, but this is, a, I just, I don't know, I just think it's adorable. So let's start playing. And this is a, I just so you know, this is a four by four card. Um, so my base is a little different so it's four by eight and then scored at four and my first piece is three and a quarter by three and a quarter but that is all on the printout but just because it is the non-standard non-standard size of card that we do um so let me start so this like I said, this is the new one of the new in colors lovely lipstick bright pink love it love 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 okay and i'm just gonna Score that in half, and I'm going to set this base aside. I'm going to start with the first layer, and we're going to emboss that die on here. So let me pull over my big shot, and I am using. Oh, where'd the pieces go? All right, this is also new in the new catalog. This is the big shot embossing mat. I don't know, my glare. I thought I had it before I came on. So this is the Big Shot embossing mat. It uh, comes with three pieces. And I've kind of set this all up so I can remember. Um, it's got this white embossing plate. It's got a thick rubber mat. And it's got a thinner um, a rubber mat. And when I, I used this once before... Um, and I did get people com comment, you know, oh, you should do it this way, that way. I will say I followed the instructions. There are instructions right on the back of this that tells you exactly, you know, whether you're going to cut and emboss, emboss only, and it gives you the details of the 
uh, pieces and then there's some picture elements. I did it exactly as this had said and the, the results weren't ideal. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing to on this one to get them to look just how I want it to look. I want that deep embossing. Like you can see like how deeply this is embossed. It's not cut, but it's embossed. So I have my Big Shot platform down. I'm then going to put this white piece down. What do they call this? Uh, let me make sure I use the proper name. So this is eight. This is Impression Pad White. So I'm put that down. Then I'm going to put the big thick gray piece down. Okay. Now I want to put my paper and my my die. So. And there is sort of the, oh my God, I'm going to cut this rubber piece feeling. If that's your feeling, you're doing it right. You're, you have it set up right. You're not going to cut it, but you're going to feel like you, you, sh you would. Um, I am going to use a post-it note, like I usually do, to hold this in place. You will see when I run this through, this gray piece, it's thick. And when you run it through real tight, it kind of squeezes out and like it kind of oozes out of the big shot machine. It will push your paper and your die out of the way. So I do want to, um, and this is not very sticky. These are cheap post-it notes, so they're not uber sticky. Um, so I'm going to rub them down. But they're just going to help keep it in place, we hope. Um, it worked the last time. And so now I'm just going to take one cutting plate on the top, and I'm going to run it through Let's see, without moving everything. And you can see now, if you see the gray, is going to start to squeeze. Hold on. There we go. See how it gets bigger out here and squeezes out? Okay. So let's... So now we're going to remove this. I'm going to take my cheap... Oh, throw those away because they're so cheap. That was all I was going to get out of them. And boom. Can you see how beautifully embossed that is? And it's not cut. It's just, I suppose if I probably bent it, it probably would uh, break, but it just does that nice deep embossing. So this is, for me and my Big Shot, this works best. So Big Shot platform, white embossing platform, thick gray paper dye, then the um, clear plate. So that is the, the sandwich that works best for me to get a deep, rich embossing with cutting dies. It would also work with just the embossing dies, but this is what is working for me. I did not use the blue mat. I did earlier when I was testing it, and it did work too. It didn't cut it, um, but I didn't need to. So I did not use the blue mat for this. It's one of those things you kind of got to figure out works. Every big shot's a little different. You got to figure out what works for you. But that worked for me. So I think the advice there is also get a bunch of scrap paper and play. You, it does a great job, but play. See what works for you. Add the blue. Take away the blue. Um, blue mat. Do, do what works. All right. So let's, let me find my scrap piece of white. So let's stamp. So I'm going to use, in the picture, we're using this image, the You Are My Missing Piece. And I'm going to stamp that in the new color, the gray granite. And this is the new ink pads. And to open them, always think it's like a cosmetic case. For some reason, when I think it's a cosmetic case, my brain just knows what to do. Compared to the old style, where I would push first. This one, I get my nail in and I twist to pop it open. So I'm going to close that up. And I've got my stamp already on the block. Oops! That is not what you want to see. It is not. That's better. All right. So now this is the gray granite. I'm going to ink it up. Oops. And I'll stamp it right in the middle. And so there is the You Are My Missing Piece. I'm gonna put this away. I'm now going to pull out. This is, I have the Lovely Lipstick and the, oops, Lovely Lipstick and Pear Pizzazz ink pads. Um, I'm going to start with Pear Pizzazz. And I'm going to use a blender pen. 
lose my hands, uh, the blender pen, and I need a piece of scrap paper. I'll stick that under here real quick. And I'm going to color the leaves and the flowers um, with the blender pen with my inks. So you know the trick where you take your ink pad and you squeeze it and you get all the ink in the cover. So ah, there we go. All right, so I'm just going to pick up the ink and I'm going to just color the insides of the leaves with the hair pizzazz. There we go. And I am to clean it off, I'm just going to um, scribble more or less onto my uh, scrap paper. Close that one up. And now I'm going to uh, do the same thing with my lovely lipstick. And I'm going to pop, pop the top. Someone's mentioning something about the nails. If you don't have nails, can you pat open? If you don't have, yes, I, I have. I have nails one day and then I won't have nails the next day. You just got to kind of get in there and twist. Um, oh yeah, so I closed it up. There we go. So there's my my bit of ink. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick up some of the ink on my blender pen. And now I'm just going to color uh, the flower here and the flower up top. There we go. And again, I'm going to clean this off. Bought the Stamping Up embossing machine years ago. The little one that looked like a little purse. Um, I do not believe, and I don't know for a fact, that that will work with these. I don't think so. Because um, you can't cut with that. Um, if I'm thinking of the right machine. The little machine looks like a purse, and it only did embossing. And I tried cutting dies with that, doing different sandwiches, and it just didn't have the power to cut. So I'm going to bet it won't emboss, but I don't know that for fact. Um, if someone else does, you know, I'm, let me go find a, before I get red all over everything. Hold on. Gotta, baby wipe, baby. I, my kids are 11 and 12. Actually, I take that back. 11 and 13. She turned 13 last week. I haven't fully taking that into my brain yet, obviously. Um, but I use um, baby wipes probably more than I did when they were babies for craft cleanup. All right, so here's that piece. So let's bring my Big Shot back. Let me move you here. All right, and so now I'm back to having the standard cutting. So I keep putting these in. So I have my Big Shot platform. Let's see if I can remove the glare. Big Shot black platform, the thin die adapter, a cutting plate. All right, so I'm going to put my uh, piece here. And here is uh, the heart die. And I'm going to line it up through the holes here until it looks like it's about centered. I take a post-it note again. These are my best friends. And, um, and I'm going to take my second plate and we're going to run that through. Okay. So I'm going to pop this out. It's going to give me the four pieces. So it's all cut up. I just set that aside for a minute. And now I'm going to grab the last piece in the die bunch and I'm going to grab some, I think this is pretty pink, petal pink, petal, petal pink. Um, and I'm going to cut two of these. All right. And we're going to go through one more time. Oops. One. And two. All right. And move this back out of the way. And there we go. All right. Oh, I know what I didn't grab. Okay, so let's assemble. Hold on, I gotta grab one thing. All right, so I'm gonna grab these are the pearlized doilies. I keep wanting to say dollies. I don't know. 
my brain some days, the way it works. So I'm going to grab these, the pearlized doilies, and I'm going to fold it in half, but not perfectly in half. Because perfect just is no fun when you're crafting. So I'm going to fold that. All right, we're going to build this up on here. So I'm just going to take a ribbon of snail, throw that on here, and I'm going to place that right, right there. Next. Now, from what I read on Stampin' Up, they this is the um, right, polka dot tool ribbon in Whisper White. There, it also comes in very vanilla, and I believe what I read was they used the very vanilla on this card. Um, I haven't opened my very vanilla. I'm doing a ribbon chair, and I've got boxes of ribbon over there, and I just didn't want to open it until I've cut them all to uh, for the chair. So. I think the white looks great. It matches the cardstock. So we're going with the um, the Whisper White tool ribbon. And it kind of zigzags on itself like this. So I am just going to put it like this and cut sort of as a measurement um, tool. Yeah, Teresa, I, I know the autism um, uses the puzzle pieces as their logo. So this is a great um, set for anyone who does uh, autism uh, fundraisers or has a child with autism that is wants to do some cards or something. I think it's a great set. In, in that the set is great in and of itself, but then it kind of makes it multi-purpose. Um, so now I'm just adding snail. If you know me, I love snail. I use it for pretty much everything, and then I make it work better than um, some other of the adhesives. All right, so I kind of made it like a zigzag, like a bow. Um, you can kind of see, just zigzag, it's got the little bows here. I'll trim it once I get the rest of this all put together. All right, so now, all right. So here are all my die cuts. And I got one more thing I need to do. So this is uh, the pear pizzazz. And we're gonna use the leaf punch. I'm gonna punch out two of these. All right, so now I'm going to build this here. So let's see. Um, I'll use, take a glue dot here. i stick it on the back of one of my puzzle pieces. And I think I'm just, to j just kind of join the two together. Now I'm going to attach the leaves to the back of this. So to do that, again, it's snail to the rescue. So I'm just going to put some snail on the bottom of the leaves. And then I'm going to bring my puzzle pieces over to that and just push down. And then this one's going to come up the top. And so there is that part. I can move that because I'm not getting snail all over my background. And now for... The saying, let's see, let me see that. All right, I'm going to attach these um, with my mini dimensionals. So I'm going to put a mini dimensional on the back of each one. Oops. There we go. And I always use my paper piercer working with the mini dimensionals. I just find it is so much easier to work with it, with them, with work with them with this. Ah. All right, so now, all right. So let's start with the bottom. So I'm kind of place these. Uh, let's see, let's go like this. So if I do kind of line them up before I, that's how I want it, all right. So remove this, I'm going to place this one here, and now we'll just build on that one that I placed. And I even use my paper piercer to hold um, my die cut so that I can kind of, I get it better, in a better position where I want it. And of course that, uh, hold on, is attached, oh, okay, that attached to my 
bottom of my, my uh, background. So I'm just going to slide another dimensional in under here. Look right there. There we go. All right. And then we'll do these, the top two. So this is the most fussy part of it, was trying to line these up. You could emboss this part too, like I did the background, so it didn't cut. But I kind of liked the idea of it um, uh, looking like it was a part and being put together. Um, the silicone mats, yes, are still in the catalog. I'll find what page in a minute, but they are still there. Oops. Twist and shut. There we go. So there is my centerpiece. Like I said, I liked the look of it looking like it had was a puzzle piece actually being put together. So now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to add the big big Mac Daddy dimensionals to the back of this and attach this to the, the card. There we go. All right. So we're going to attach this to there. And again, more dimensionals, because you can never have a card that is too bumped up. I In for a penny, in for a pound. I, I prefer all the dimension on a card. I think they look better. All right. Oh, someone says the silicone mat is on page one twenty or two thirteen. I don't know where the hell I'm thinking. Um, so thank you for that, uh, Brenda. Awesome. Okay. So there we go. And so now I just want to trim where my snips go. And trim. So there. So there is my casing of uh, page 213 on the catalog. Is that 213? Yeah, 113. Too many 13s. So, there we go. Yep, so that's page 113 with the Love You to Pieces bundle. And someone said 213, so let's just check here. 213. Silicone craft sheet. Right there. One of, along with my uh, paper piercer, one of the tools I use all the time, especially when I'm applying snail to something. It just keeps it off of my background. It keeps it off of everything. I uh, have now, like, I have five or six of them now in my craft room, kind of all over the place. So let's head over. So uh, that's not what I want to do, this one. So now we're going to do our uh, live giveaway. If you haven't had a chance to pop on, please just, you can write hi. You know, say whatever. Um, that'll get you entered in to win the uh, washi tape. And I'm going to do that in a moment. Um, so I thank everybody for joining me. So now let's see. Live giveaway. Uh, so I'll let you stare at that for a second while I reboot this website. Because it always seems to go down while I'm chatting and crafting. Because um, that's just how it goes. All right. So we're going to pick a winner. So now we're going to come over here. So everyone has an entry for commenting, and you get one entry for this winner. And I'm going to click pick a winner, and our winner is Athleta Owens. So Athleta, please, ah, please head over to craftystampin.com, and if you go up to specials and giveaways, um, you, there is a link right here to click to claim your prize. And I will get that in the mail to you. So I thank everybody for joining me today as we case the catalog. I will be back on Tuesday um, with the uh, another coffee and crafts. And maybe we'll case the catalog again because there's so much yummy stuff in there. Um, so thank you, everybody. And I, uh, you did not miss out on Tranquil Tulips. Tranquil Tulips will be picked um, on the next Thursday whatever date that is, I'm lost, is the 14th. Um, so if you want the Triangle Tulips, just leave a comment. You'll be entered to win that for the 14th. And if you share this video and then comment shared, I'll put you in for a second entry. So thank you everybody for joining me. I will see you next Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.